mosquitoes today. Everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and this is the Timber Bridge Project. We recently bought this piece of property and it's cut in half by this creek that runs right down the middle and we've been in the process of building a timber bridge across here. The goal is not only for foot traffic but our side-by-side -side and our small 755 compact tractor as well. In previous videos we got stone and concrete on this side or on that side and we started the stone and concrete on the side we're currently on but we ran out of concrete and of course we have one log laid across here. So today's goal, get the concrete finished up on this side best we can, what we have left. Go and find another log pretty close to this one, get it cut down, the top milled off and drug down here. And fingers crossed, if the weather holds out today, we get both those logs set up on the piers. And I think that would be so cool. Go get my buckets and my mag float cleaned up and the mixer cleaned up and then we'll head up and get the 755 tractor and the Husqvarna 55 chainsaw. See if we can go find another tree, get the log arch, get it drug down here, get it milled up and see if we can get both of those set. I just, I cannot wait to see the way it looks with both of those sitting on there. I hope it looks as cool as I think it will. Okay, we're actually kind of close to the, the YouTube yacht. It's just see those trees there, and there's a couple over here that I want to look at. I got this one here. My only concern with this, I don't know if I can get. Oh, I should be able to, right? I should be able to get 25 feet out of that. Yeah. All right, well, decision made. I don't know how rotted it is, though. We won't know until we get it down on the ground. If that one doesn't work, there's another one over there. This should work just fine. And by the way, you see this right here? Well, I ran over you with the 18-wheeler the other day with Mike's Mac. I had the 120 on the back. Both axles on the trailer fully loaded right over you. So that's there in the corner, and it will be for probably another couple weeks until I get another GoPro in. Sorry for the inconvenience and other, other things. Okay. I can't see the top because of the remakers.
right here. This is 24 foot, which is what we need. It's actually a little bit too long, but I'm gonna kind of cut it long and then we'll trim it to fit when we get down there. So, now we get the chalk line and see what kind of a straight edge we can get on this thing. Not great though. Tell you what. Let's go look at that other one. See if it's any straighter. We can still use a lot of this for the rest of the bridge, obviously. I mean, we could get out of this bottom trunk section, we could set that on the mill whenever we borrow that mill and mill all the planking out of that, no problem. But I'm not sure it's straight enough or long enough length for another beam. It looks quite a bit straighter. It's got poison ivy on it, so that's cool. That looks like a little bit better candidate. Well, let's drop that one. There's a huge hole there. All kinds of trash and briars in there. We can just, on that hopefully.
that end needs to go that way. Tractor, winch, tree, you'll see. Chels came down to get me because there's a thunderstorm warming that just popped up real quick. But the girls want to try the bridge out. Come on. You can do it on your own. You've been on sketchier okay. bridges. Come on. Like when we climbed in okay, the I go by myself this time? You cannot go by yourself. Yeah, Why like when you we went up to cable? Mount Leconte. Yeah. There were sketchier bridges on Mount Leconte for sure. What is this for? That's what these logs are going up on top of. Oh. oh it's all oh, said and two. done. Yeah, so that log will go over there, and this log will go here on top of those, and we'll put boards across, and we can drive the side-by-side -side and tractor across. Oh, that's sketch, but cool. <laughs> well, that's kind of... Yeah, I wish I should go... Why can I not go by myself, though? Because you're a little bit reckless like your daddy. Yeah. Charlotte's thinking about it. She's thinking. She, she's she went go go. back and forth in the creek all day the other day. Aw. She can't trust it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, like I said, there's a thunderstorm morning and Chels came down to get me out of the woods because I don't have signal down here. So I'm going to get my stuff picked up and I'll meet you guys in the next clip. We'll get everything up on the concrete. Oh, look at the doggo go. Alright. We did end up getting just a little bit of a storm. Parked the tractor sideways so we wouldn't lose it down in the ditch. Looks like the water came through pretty good. Which is one of the reasons I'm not going to put a culvert in. You know what? This is a good time. Let's just hop down there and show you exactly why I don't want to put a culvert in here. So you can see we're down the bottom of it here. Now a lot of this is mess from when we've been working on this and yes we will get all that stuff out cleaned up and burnt and get both sides polished up looking good but the main reason we don't want to put a culvert in is the amount of debris that washes down this creek you can see all the trees all the leaves all the limbs even the rocks that come down this There is a whole lot of mess. And to me, that is a guaranteed way to clog up a culvert. Now don't get me wrong, there are some YouTube channels out there that are solely dedicated to unclogging culverts, and it makes great content, but I feel like we have enough content already. I don't need to add culvert unclogging to the list. So by having a bridge, that leaves this bottom side wide open. And whatever wants to come down through here can come down through here uninterrupted with no problems whatsoever. Also, this is a pretty good size watershed area, and it does flash a couple times a year. And flash flooding with culverts, if you live in an area that flash floods, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They don't really go together very well. So if we can get a bridge up and out of harm's way and everything can just happen underneath it and not cause us any problems in the long run, that's the ticket. That's what we're looking for. Trying to make YouTube videos. Yes, we are. 
So I've got some ideas. I was thinking about how to get this log up and on here without damaging this. I'm just gonna throw you on time lapse real quick and work through it because there is some more rain coming in today and I don't want to be around here when it comes through. The goal here, the way I have that cable around, is to try to just roll that up on top of it. That log on top of the daggone thing. There's the chain. You guys know that if you're in a pinch, chainsaw works great as a wire stripper. Yeah, not bad. Daggone winch control ripped in half for no good reason at all. Okay. Be up and running in no time though. I do have a wireless controller for that winch, I just haven't put it on yet. This looks like a pretty good sign that it's time to put that wireless controller on there. Uh huh? <laughs> All right. It'll get us through the day. That's what matters. making a couple notches so they can kind of sit without rocking a lot.
battery ended up dying on you guys. I went to the house to change batteries, and the girls in Chelsea were getting ready to head to town. I ended up tagging along, figured might as well I could use the brake. Anyway, we're back out here real quick. Let's just wrap the video up with a quick overview. This is where we're at, and it looks pretty daggone good. Now, the next step in this, as far as construction goes, will be getting these surfaces cleaned up just a little bit. And then the timber that we left behind, that first tree we cut down, that larger one that wasn't quite straight enough, long enough to use for one of these beams, we'll save that. And when we borrow my buddy's sawmill, he has a Woodland Mills bandsaw, we'll mill up a bunch of planking in that, and then that's what we'll use to go across here to build the floor. So it'll get used, it won't get wasted. It'll probably sit there until we use it, but it won't get wasted. I'm excited about that. You can see down on this end, we got pretty rough when we were milling that, and basically, I mean, we started down there and it was not doing too bad, but then it just kind of got dull. And instead of pulling the saw out and resharpening the chain or throwing another chain on, I just fought it and it looks like a daggone beaver did that end of it. But that'll be fine because I got a fun new tool. I actually got a little ads. Uh, and as soon as I watch some YouTube videos and try to figure out how to use the daggone thing, we'll get out here and try to clean that surface out. That'll probably be the next video. As far as some of these rocks kicking loose while we're getting everything up, that's not a big deal. The main purpose of those rocks was to act as form boards for that concrete to build it up. And we're going to tuck point everything with mortar anyway to get it all sealed up. So whenever we do that mortar tuck pointing, we'll put those rocks back in place. We'll be good to go. We'll also get all of our mess cleaned up. We are at the point in the project that we kind of need to get organized, reorganized, and caught up. All this stuff we've got laying around, get it piled up somewhere, get it burned up somewhere, get all this stuff cleaned up. Get all the rocks tuck pointed and then we can move on to the next step i kind of want to get caught up before we get too far ahead and end up you know tripping over something or getting hurt or doing something silly like that all in all i'm excited about the project super excited about the project it's just going to be cool it's going to be cool when it's done i did get some drone shots earlier before i took off to town so we'll go ahead and roll those next it's starting to rain right now so i'm going to head back to the house hope you guys are enjoying the content enjoying the channel one last thing i do have another camera coming so maybe one more video with wherever that little blurry spot is from that scratch from running you guys over the semi truck whoops i got another camera coming so we'll be back to normal quality before too long do appreciate you guys watching though appreciate your support Appreciate you guys tagging along for these adventures. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.